In this tip of the week, we will look at how to annotate a My Classes assignment submission in Doc Viewer. Doc Viewer is a tool that allows you to annotate online assignment submissions such as Word documents, PowerPoints, and PDFs while in SpeedGrader. These documents display in Doc Viewer within the SpeedGrader assignment window. The Doc Viewer toolbar allows you to manage the assignment submission. To zoom in and out on the submission, use the plus and minus icons. If there are multiple pages, you can enter the page number you want to jump to in order to quickly access the page you want to annotate. The Doc Viewer toolbar defaults to the Selection tool. Users must select each annotation type individually. To leave a comment in a specific location on the document, such as the start of a sentence, select the Point Annotation icon. Then click in the desired location of the submission. A Point Annotation requires a text comment, which displays in a text field immediately in the sidebar. You can leave a comment here, or you can use the trash can to delete the comment. To move the comment, hover over the icon in the document, and then click and drag the pointer to a new area. Your comment selection is persistent, meaning it will remain on that tab until you click another comment tool or click back to the selection tool. To highlight text within the document, click the highlight annotation button. Use the toolbar to select the color of your highlight and click and drag to highlight text within the submission. You can highlight text without a comment attached directly to it or you can add a comment to the highlighted area by clicking on the document icon in the sidebar. Here you can leave a comment or delete as before. To leave a text comment on the document, select the free text annotation option and click where you want to insert the text and type your message. You can edit the text by clicking back into the text box. And to delete it, you must click the annotation itself, not inside the text box. Then press the backspace on your PC keyboard or the delete button on your Mac. You can delete any other annotation in the same manner. If you would like to indicate to the student that text should be deleted, you can use the Strikeout tool. Click the Strikeout Annotation button and select the color you want the strikeout to be. Then click and drag to strike out text within the submission. A colored line will appear indicating the text has been struck out. As with the Highlight Annotation tool, to add a comment to the strikeout area, click on the document icon in the sidebar. You can also make freehand drawings and annotations by using the Draw tool. To enable the tool, click on the Free Draw Annotation button and select the color for your drawing. Decide where you would like to draw or write your annotation. You can move a drawing once you have completed it by clicking and dragging or you can use the document icon in the sidebar to add an annotation to the drawing. To leave a comment around an area of the submission, such as an entire paragraph, select the Area Annotation option. Then click and drag the rectangle around that particular area, and a box will appear associating a comment to it. Like with the point annotation, the area annotation also requires a text comment attached to it. To move the comment, hover over the area border and click and drag the comment to a new area. 
All users can reply to any comments in the document by clicking on the comment. However, comments and annotations can only be deleted by the user who created the comment or annotation. Students can use Doc Viewer when viewing annotated feedback on assignment submissions by clicking Submission Details and then View Feedback. Again, students can reply to any comment by clicking on it. As an instructor, you can see when students view annotated feedback in the Assignment Details section of SpeakGrader, but for a group project, it does not specify which student viewed the document. Doc viewer annotations cannot be viewed by screen readers. For users with accessibility concerns, please leave feedback in the assignment comments area in SpeakRater. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following guide.